O presidente da Bielorrússia, Alexander Lukashenko, chamou-lhe depreciativamente dona de casa, mas quando a líder da oposição bielorrussa, Svetlana Tikhanovska, entrou na corrida à presidência em 2020, tornou-se na maior pedra no sapato para o líder autoritário do país. Euronews encontrou-se com ela em Berlim. Uh, Belarusian democratic forces and people are united as never before because we have uh, our common aim is release of our beloved, our friends from prisons, release of our political prisoners, but also uh, having free and fair elections. Political prisoner exchange with uh, Russia. Not one Belarusian prisoner, political prisoner came out. Since then, have there been any progress in your negotiations with uh, politicians from the European Union? That we all want them to, to uh, be released, but uh, we don't want our political prisoners, our heroes, to be bargaining chips you know, in this Lukashenko's game. They are taking more and more and more hostages you know, to sell them more expensive. But we are asking our democratic partners that uh, don't uh, uh, you know, trade, don't make any deals with Lukashenko, don't trade because he, okay, he can like sell one, two, three hundred people and he will detain uh, twice more. As it was recently, um, Lukashenko released 115 people. For the same period of time, he uh, detained 140. Can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> What is it um, that you miss the most about Belarus? Mm. Look, I miss everything. I uh, miss my apartment that had been confiscated, but I, this was our nest, nest of our family. I uh, miss my husband, of course. But, you know, I, I want to see free Belarus. Der belarussische Präsident Alexander Lukaschenko will bei den Präsidentschaftswahlen im Februar 2025 erneut antreten. Doch die belarussische Opposition ist stärker denn je, sagt die belarussische Oppositionelle Svetlana Zichanowskaya. Sie will die Beziehungen zu Deutschland stärken und kämpft mehr denn je für ein freies Belarus. Diana Resnik aus Berlin für Euronews.